Here we're in the port of Nice. This is a tender port because they don't have any docks. So we'll have to go in on the little boats. We don't go in till about one o'clock. This is our one day of being a little lazy. the mouth of the bay and I'm not sure what that is way over there So we're tindering over for an hour or so till our trip is ready and we'll tinder back to the boat only to turn around and tinder back for the tour. But There's a map with a layout, so we're in Villa Franche. This afternoon we'll do Nice, or Nice, and EC. I'm guessing that's the uh, fort. over there. This is part of the French Riviera, so... Cannes is considered the start of it. Ну, ты знаешь, что я тебе говорю, просто я 
nice apartment complex up there. Great view of the beach. I bet you that costs like the beach. They're charging two euros an hour for parking, so it ain't cheap to use the beach. Well, unless you walk down here. Boats out there. Also looks like this bay is pretty stable as far as tides go. A couple of feet and that looks like about it. It's definitely warm enough to swim in because people are doing it. So we're walking up a set of stairs to the train station just to see what's, what it's like up here. It's the train station. You want to go to Monaco or over to Marseille? A little closer to the apartments up there. Going down a little back street. Yeah, that's the walkway we were taking. The Chapel Saint Pierre. One of the landmarks here. And the fort's the other, but that's a hike and we don't have time. In Monaco, for this high sink view, you will find the restrooms and another stop. not so far from Nice, uh, so we'll start our tour about the coastline road uh, leading to Monaco in half an hour. <laughs> so have a look to the Bay of Villefranche to the right. To the peninsula of saint jean cap we have three peninsulas. French Riviera, Cape Fira, St. Martin Cape, and Antin Cape. And this is uh, the most exclusive place uh, 
the pressure of Uranus, expensive place to park, facade housing, sun, baroque church, and to the bar. This is a very big factor as well, the best was one. Numbers, you know, used to build a very big buildings in Cape Verano in the Bell Epoch during the 19th century. And a very big villa can be seen today, you know, it's a Tosman villa, it's the Rothschild villa, surrounded by a lush garden, so it's worth to see. And now we are reaching another resort called Bos Beaulieu sur Mer. It means a beautiful sight of the sea. To the right, this is a luxury hotel called Le Royal. Royal Riviera, and through the palm trees you will see brick villa, cliffs, limestone cliffs, plunging into the Mediterranean Sea. This is the Alps, you know, a very big mountain started from the French Riviera. You see the Alps, it's really the Alps. And now this district is called the Little Africa. Little Africa, have a look at the lush vegetation, ficus trees, lemon trees, many also are coming here and we live here. It's a very peaceful place, white waters. Sometimes you can see how about the second yacht, you know, the green. Now we are arriving in Els Bay, very large bay, it has a uh, renown for the hilltop village, you can see at the top of the mountain on the right, uh, at the extremity of the spur, you know, you see to have a look at the lucky people living there on the left. Family. The Grimaldi family was ruling Monaco, you know, has been ruling Monaco since 700 years now. And if you take a pathway on the left, you reach the hilltop village in one hour and ten minutes. This is niche pathway, dedicated to the famous philosopher. A celebrity was living there in the White House. Greta Garbo, maybe you know her. Greta Garbo was living in Cartagena. This was a name given to the French Riviera. Century by a Frenchman and French writer called Mr. Liegeard. He described, you know, the French Riviera, the climate, and the landscapes. And he was speaking about uh, Côte d'Azur. It means uh, it's a Bleu Rocher, Font Vieille, La Bouton District, and Monte Carlo set up, you know, the casino. So about one million and seven hundred 
persons are living on the French Riviera. The son of Rainier III. You know, Rainier III was married to Grace Kelly, with Grace Kelly, and they had three children. Albert II, Stephanie, and Caroline. So Albert is living in the palace. Uh, Stephanie is living close to the palace, in a very stately house. And the same for Caroline, living next to the Ocean Museum. during the Renaissance time and of course the prince and the princess who live in there in the part of the palace is open to the public you can visit the west part of the point of departure for the Circuit Formula 1 you know Circuit Formula 1 with car race takes place every year in May So uh, the driver will make the, the departure for us, you know. So are you ready for the departure? You're you ready? All the car rails are waiting here. Roaming. And two weeks before, you know, we have the historic Grand Prix. We go. All the most expensive yachts are exhibited in the port, you know, during four days. So it's possible to buy a yacht, why not? And to the left, have a look to the little chapel, raised in Corsica during the third century. And she landed there on the shore. Well, it's great to have each one you want. <laughs> Not big enough for me, you know. For the whole the family, I need the big one. And Eric, which one do you want? He prefer his dress, you know. So, opposite, uh, you see a wooden park. This is the old part of Monaco. With the parliament. Uh, the old town and the palace. Thank you. 
succulent garden area they probably charge to to go in but we don't have time so they gave us like 10 minutes just to use the restrooms and what you see on the right uh, this is both uh, the opera house and gaming rooms So this is hiking up to the village of EC. Although we can't, we don't have time to go to the top, way up there, just to this kind of middle level here.
You can see that guy. We were on the other side of that hill is where Monaco was. Actually, surprisingly, it didn't take us very long to get over here. And there's still a few more steps. <laughs> So just in case we did forget, these are the Alps. They're the French Alps, but they're still the Alps. Uh, I guess it does snow up here in the winter. very high, you know, about uh, 300 meters high above the sea level. And the road Middle Cornish Tower, we are driving Middle Cornish. small harbor. Peaceful place. Uh, it's around it. Uh, you can uh, hike around the cave you know, in two hours. Yeah. We like to do that in winter and right? mm -hmm. living at the French Riviera. And that cave Fira was living during the Belle Epoque. It was a bare land, you know. Genuine of the hills. It's a very big city. Around so that's the city of Nice. The right heart of the city in the Chateau. And to the foothill, this is uh, very So have a look to the right, the city of Nice, uh, it's a very uh, big city at the top of the hill, uh, many big buildings, maybe on the right, you see the Regina Palace building, one of the main buildings being for Queen Victoria, who like to stay in Nice in winter, you know she went many times in Nice, in Martha. This is the entrance from Italy. Have a look to the facade, red facade. This is the entrance from Genoa, the city of Genoa. And the pink facade, this is typical from Torino. You know, remember, I told you. So the same architects were in Nice to build the city. Have a look to the port on the right. The ferry boat are starting from here to go to Corsica every day. And of course it's a very pleasant place to live uh, around the port uh, or in the next to the Colline du Chateau. By every hour you've got a flight to Paris and you reach Paris in one hour and fifteen minutes. Right, the pink chateau built by Mr. Smith, an English man who was living in India and went back into Europe. He wanted to live in this, decided to build a very big chateau left. You know when the nobles were on the French Riviera, they wanted to have a little Versailles. So he built a very large villas to stay and to invite all the that part of the nature. 
because the owner was living in Bombay. He was architect in Bombay. And that's the reason why it's folly, you know, villa. The name of the villa is called folly, you know, it's like a folly. It's all living there. Our building very large villas. And to the extremity, very big hotel. Okay, so that's our ship. Over behind us was Nice. Out beyond that was Monaco. And then up on that hill there, was uh, DC. Okay, so from here, if you look up, that area was DC.